Hello guys, welcome back. So I'm going to start a new series called Tekken Talks. I thought it would be nice to just like fill you in and keep you updated about like what's going on and um, my, for my channel and uh, you know since I don't stream this is like my way of like communicating with you guys so this is like sort of I guess a video diary or voice recording diary so um, yeah you can just uh, feel free to like hang out and just be like talking because you know how some streamers have just chatting or uh, they just hang out with chat and just talk like I've seen you you do it like I like that idea of trying to communicate with people so it's like it's not like a parasocial thing it's also seeing people in the chat talking to each other so it's not just like you know one-on-one -on -one. it's more like it's a community and I also like the fact that someone had pointed out very low poly if you're watching and um, people talk to each other it's not just like it, it, it's not strictly just a relationship with the person or host you're watching. You can talk to people who have the similarities and interests of you. So I'm going to do Tekken Talks. And so for this one specifically, it's actually been more than a year since I started my channel. I started in January 2021 and I was going to do a one year anniversary and I guess I don't want to do it because I never came across the time to do it but um, it was exactly last year that I hit 100 subscribers and to everyone who has supported me throughout these um, past uh, it's almost a, a year and a half now so I, I just want to say thank you to all of you guys um, it, it means so much to me like I there could be no more words to explain how thankful I am to be able to get this feedback and the people who are there for me there I know there are people who genuinely just like to be able to watch something <laughs> and I, I, I talked about it before in my old video in this one, I, I said it, but it was on a text-to-speech converter, and and it doesn't make it any less important, but I still feel the same way when I said it back then, and it's crazy to know how far I've come, not as an editor, but as a person. I've learned a lot this year, and I think everything that I've gone through online, these experiences that have been um, speed bumps, in my experience with not only Tekken but just people in general online has really given me like a wake up slap and has really helped me understand that that I need to do what I need to do and it shouldn't matter what other people are telling me to do and so I think I'm just starting to get like that confidence and courage back and motivation from the right people to be able to keep doing this and I think it's also helping me for my future career if I ever decide to pursue film and I know I, I want to um, it's also helping me understand how people work too like as a social social experiment I guess and I think it's a good learning tool to do YouTube um, I would recommend it for everyone though because it's not for everyone and I, I sometimes I think it's not for me um, because I, I noticed how I started to change when I did this and I didn't like that feeling where all I cared about was the views and the likes and I'm like oh my god I'm being one of those people I, I like that was the one thing I didn't want to become and I had that that moment where I realized I'm like I'm changing and it's not in a good way and so I had to step back and process and kind of just do some soul searching of why I'm making videos and it started off well like I told you guys in the previous video it was for the wrong reasons but now I'm starting to see that if I just do it for myself and I try my best in everything that I do to make these videos and I think that's all that matters as long as I'm proud with what I'm doing that's all that matters and I mean it it is hard to keep doing this when YouTube doesn't support you <laughs> with the the people and support and algorithm and stuff like content creators are having a very hard time being able to be creative in their 
videos and um, as an artist I, I feel like when you can't be able to express yourself you're not getting your true um, authentic authenticity because when you're unique that's what makes you authentic when you're not trying to copy other people you're not trying to be clickbaity and so I think I realized that part about myself and I think future me will be so proud of myself because I see that now I'm starting to see what I'm more interested into doing and I just like I just see myself becoming more sure I guess that's the word I, I didn't know what the word is I'm just being like more confident and being able to know that all this editing all this trial and error all this struggles and like so many tears and anger and so much from just being online I think it's really helped me learn that this is all to be inspiration and motivation for later on in the future when I want to do these things and it can't put me down and I think that's what I've learned this year because at the, at the beginning of the year I've said this so many times but I'm I, I, I don't want to say I have like PTSD from it, but I'm still like heavily traumatized from what happened in January and um, <laughs> whatever. If, if you guys are watching it and you know who I'm talking about and you like, really, really. <laughs> and I'm probably going to get whatever backlash from whatever. I, I really, I'm at the point where I don't care about what other people say behind my back and it's like I really don't need to waste my time on people like this because it's not just me who goes through it but I found out that other female streamers and Tekken players like Yu Yu, Kiri, Looney Lily like they go through so much <laughs> so much BS and now I'm going through it and now I see that's why there's not a lot of female players in the gaming industry and streaming and they are able to show their face on camera and so much so much kudos to them because I don't know if I could ever do that because you have such I don't I'm not saying like people who watch me are like creeps I'm just saying like there is a spectrum where it, it becomes unhealthy especially on the internet and so I think for me it's just like I need to step back and realize you know, there has to be like a line where I draw and so I think doing I think doing YouTube has just become sort of a a learning process for me because if I'm able to just say what I say and if you like me for that then that's great and if you don't then you can leave. And so I've really just learned that this year, like, a lot of the people will try to tell you that what you're doing is not good and it doesn't mean anything to them, but it means a lot to you. And they try to tell you that what you're doing is not good enough or it'll never be enough for anyone else and that they'll try to take the credit from all your effort and they'll just try to twist the words come up with lies and those things are not true because deep down you know that everything that the people who are trying to put you down everything has been trying to stop you from achieving your goals and from achieving greatness I think you don't have to even worry about those people because when you look at athletes and you look at Michael Phelps and do you, there are these people that are so inspirational like I'm thinking about all my role models now it's just you, you don't have to worry about the haters and I mean for the people who are watching if you have people being mean to you just online or if you know bullies or people being bullied 
it's just people can be so mean especially online and it, it can really hurt someone and I've known people just sort of like I take Elizabeth Olsen for example she stopped being on um, Instagram I think because she didn't like how it was warping her mind like she would be so concerned about what other people are perceiving her to be and I always take this speech from Taylor Swift too like I, 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 she's okay, but the advice she gave was that you can't really be concerned about likability and you can't worry about whether people like you or not. And the actor from Spider-Man, the uh, voice actor, Yuri Lowenthal, said something very similar. It's like, you can't worry about what people like and what they dislike and what, all you need to do is just worry about what you love and you chase that. You chase the thing that makes you feel happy and I think I'll do a compilation of um, the quotes that helped me throughout this year. I'll probably make a separate video for that if anyone is interested in it because they explain it so much better than I do. I, I'm like out of words when it comes to these things. I, like, I do better when I write stuff down but um, yeah I, I just want to because honestly doing this is sort of like therapy for me. It's easier to express my present thoughts and to be able to just like let it out. It's just, it's kind of freeing in a way because then it, it doesn't have to stay in my mind all the time. And it, it's, it's like, because it's like being present with my feelings, being present with my thoughts. And if someone is like struggling with that, like. I'm pretty sure that those who may relate to that. So, if you guys haven't noticed already, or if you guys aren't already aware, I do have a Discord server you can join if you want to. If you have maybe requests, or you have questions, or you want to learn technical advice, or just life in general, you can join my server here down in the link below. And um, the only thing I ask is that please uh, only join if you are active or if you genuinely want to talk. Like I recommend you join if you want to either know announcements or like behind the scenes of my edits or any anything relating to my YouTube channel or just tech in or, or anything. It's my own server that I made from scratch. I made in the beginning of January. So um, if you are not active, that's totally fine. You'll just get the default role, which is the brown dwarf role. And I have listed um, many roles and I've created many roles for you to um, gain throughout your activity. So if you're active, you're going to get the role with the most permissions. And if you're very inactive, then you'll get the default role, which is already automatically given to you by the bot that I set up and you can only see certain channels. So in order to see all the channels, you have to be pretty much active, and I mean active as in like just hanging out. And you can pick all your roles too. I set it up so you can pick anything relating to your interests so people can understand and get an idea of uh, what you like, what you don't like, and who you play in Tekken, or you know, any hobbies you have. You can put your role for yourself. So that everyone's welcome, except stalkers and trollers. So yeah, I wanted to make the server so it can be a little community where people can feel comfortable in talking in. And you know, I've seen so many servers that are very poorly managed. And although it may seem organized, some moderators, and I'm not gonna like name what servers, but the moderators use their <laughs> power for, you know, evil. Some moderators aren't fair with their powers, even though they were given the powers by a certain someone. I manage it, and um, the people who are there, we don't like to abuse our powers or anything. So if you just want to like hang out and chat, whatever, you can go ahead. The link's there. It'll expire within 50 invites. So the first 50 who click on the link can join. And it's also on my homepage too, if you want to click it from there. 
update. Yes, I did want to point out that Low Poly did help boost the server and we are at level 3. Oh my god, thank you so much Low Poly. And you guys, just let him know and show your love to him and support to him because he is an underrated editor and we are like trying to collaborate and make guides and combine our communities together. So, you know, join our servers, join together to help spread more Tekken fun and Tekken editors need to be appreciated. <laughs> Feel free to join so you can like talk to us because we need constantly new ideas, new contents, and we would love to hear your guys' input and get you involved in to feature on our videos or if you have quotes to say or clips to share, upload. Let them come in from the Discord and let us know that you're willing to do that because we would be willing to edit those for you for people who don't know how to edit or you know we just need to be able to have involvement in the community and like, it's our only way to be able to talk to you guys and communicate so yes do please join and feel free to support us we would really appreciate it and thank you so much for listening all the way through